Hello and welcome to the exporting series of videos. In this first video, we're going to take a look at exporting to Word. Now, why would you want to do that? There's, well, there could be a number of reasons. For instance, you could be working collaboratively with another author who doesn't have Papyrus, so the only format they can work in is Word. Similarly, you could be exporting to an editor or a publisher that only wants to work within Word. So the export functions of Papyrus are really good and in this video we're going to explore how to do that. Okay, so in this um, video we're going to be exporting to a document that can be read by any other word processor. So to do that we go up to File and we go to Export and these are the list of your options. Now, um, Word docs and RTFs can be read by almost everything. Docs mostly can as well, but I would probably stick with the doc file format because you don't know whether the person, you know, if you're not using Word, if you're using some other pro word processor, you're, it might not open the file. Okay, so since making the export videos, uh, Papyrus has had an update. So instead of export, um, in the file menu, it's now called publish. And you can also export or publish your files from this new menu called author. And you come down to publish again. And from here, you can publish to Word, PDF, and ebook. So we're going to go with doc. It's going to ask where we want to save it. I'm just going to save it to the desktop. I'm going to go continue. Now at this point, you've got two options. Export for distribution, uh, which would be, let's say, for instance, you're, you're uploading it to a pod or save as is. Now if you go save as is, it will um, keep all the comments and anything else attached to your file intact. This is a good option if you're going to save uh, it to send to your editor, for instance. So first off, I'm going to go save as is. It's ticking away. It should have already saved it, which it has. And there's temporal drift dock. If I open it and scroll down, you can see it has left everything in there that is... Um, was created with the document. So for instance, um, scene titles come up as comments in, in Word. So all your comments and everything that's inside uh, your document is there. And these could then be edited by your editor. You know, if they made changes, they could add comments, then send the file back to you. So I'm gonna close that. And then I'm gonna do the export again. But this time, for distribution. So file, export, document. I'll just name it something different just so it doesn't overwrite. Save, continue. And this time we're going to go export for distribution. Now with export for distribution, it will automatically remove everything from your document, all your comments and so on. You can pick and choose uh, what you wanted to remove. So you could also use this to send to the editor if you wanted, but you could remove things like um, links, uh, you know, chapter notations, statuses of chapter. But this would generally be used for if you're exporting to a pod or something like that. So I'm going to go apply, save, and this time when Word opens, it's clean. You can see it's taken out all the sticky notes and the comments and so on. Okay. Okay, so that was uh, export into Word. Again, very easy with uh, Papyrus. So until next time, I'll see you later.